I'm not gonna be mean about it. It just is kind of awkward looking, this this uh, illustration is, but it's it's not terrible. Oh, she lied? Oh, but he did act freaked out, so he must be involved. Well, I think. I think he likes us. If that weird uh, hand kiss is anything to go by. Oh, chapter three. I don't know how many chapters there are total. Probably like ten. Ten's usually a good. Oh my god, what? No. Lucius Christ Superstar. No. I can't. The. What? Oh, this is kind of amazing. Okay, so this is from Judas's song from the musical Jesus Christ Superstar, and it looks like they took the actual song and they changed the lyrics to match the weird Lucius Christ religion. Yeah, this is not how Jesus Christ Superstar goes. It's, um, no talk of God, then we called you a man. And believe me, my admiration for you hasn't died. That's how it's supposed to go. But every word you say today is twisted round so by the way, and they'll crush us if you go too far. What the hell? Italy? No, it's supposed to go, uh... Nazareth, your favorite son, should have stayed a great unknown. Like his father carving wood, he'd have made good. Weird, okay, so like... Lucius Christ... isn't even... from, like, Nazareth or anything. He's from Italy, and he was a king? An Italian king? Okay, and this is also wrong. This lyric is supposed to be, Tables, chair, oak, and chest would have suited Jesus best. He'd have caused nobody harm, no one alarm. Yeah, that's right. I was in theater in middle school. Can't you tell? by how cool I am now. August is such a good employee. He's not even being paid for this and he just is showing up for us. I think he has a crush on Erica. It's so cute. Absolutely. Oh, you. I can't help! I mean, yeah, but you're the one that fucked up that crime scene, Maddie. Oh, damn. Maddie is going to throw hands. <sighs> Isn't that lovely? <laughs> nice. Oh, 
Holy oh, shit, we're having to do actual police work? He's like a suspected serial killer, and even if you ignore that, he was like a philosophy professor. He's not a detective. Philosopher? <laughs> Murder. Oh god, no! I didn't want to be right. Well... Yeah, we thought of that. We're a good FBI agent. Reductio ad absurdum. Oh yeah, I forgot there's like ten different freaking cults and secret societies and clubs in this Here. town. We got the Repatriation Society, which is like the weird people that are obsessed with escaping. Then there's the Order of the Line, who worship the magical train. And then we have the Lucius Christ people. Oh no, Maddie, Goku mode activated. Well, Maddie, he might have killed seven people, but you know what? He didn't. Fuck up that one crime scene that one time. But about that. <sighs> Maybe. It wasn't very hot though. He just almost barfed over a steak and then he kissed our hand and it was really awkward. Hmm. August. Do not spill the deets Not so sure. of our private life. Huh? Whoop whoop! You go, Maddie. How Presentation. What the fuck, August? He's like, I left my shirt unbuttoned just to test you today. I... I'm not sure. Oh, her arm bandage is gone. From her, uh, totally not a vampire bite. Can he be abusive? Um, I don't know, he seems like he might be into uh, biting <sighs> and blood play. Where the bandage used to be. I wonder if she 
does she realize that she might have been mind controlled? Does she know that the Batales are vampires? Or is she totally ignorant about all of that? Sure, Erica. You totally didn't think his shoulder pads were hot. Maybe. Are they, though? <laughs> Very blunt. I feel kind of bad for her if, if she was under mind control or a spell or whatever when she messed up the crime scene. It's not really her fault then. I guess we don't know that for sure yet. not this bitch again. Life is irrational. Yeah, high school is not really a sanctuary for many people. It's more like a prison. August is like, as if any of you peons would be good enough to be one of my victims. I mean, um, just kidding, I'm not the heartbreaker. I suppose. Wow, maybe you should be a cop. <laughs> Are you paying attention? Holy shit, he got her. Wow. What if there really is a Bobby Richardson though? That would be funny if she was if she was like, no, literally, there is a Bobby Richardson. I'll go get him. He's real. <laughs> <laughs> Holy shit! Immediately goes into vulture Please. mode. Hmm. 
marvelous. Wow, he is good at tripping people up. <laughs> okay, August, you be good cop. Oh, choice. I, he's doing a good job. I'm. I'll let him keep believe. going. He liked that. Unfortunately. Kid. I mean, you ever watch CSI, Law and Order, Criminal Minds? snatch people away so that they can kill them or do something with them. this now is this another survivalist okay another freaking crazy ass club secret society in this town don't be hasty all right laying it on a little thick there dude Absolutely. <laughs> I suspect it is because I never button my shirt and I have artfully tousled hair. Me all wrong. Oh, <laughs> she's like, Ugh. <laughs> I 
<laughs> Not because you are sexy and we have a weird like sexual tension that's not why i'm letting you take along is that so Going to the cat up oh, to the cabin. All right. Are you sure? She didn't notice a lot of things, honestly. She's been in this town for six months, and she kind of seems like she knows nothing about anything. Another loading screen. Like half this game is the loading. All right, more vampire books. August is like, oh shit, is that a first edition of Twilight? Life is irrational. Like Ice Planet Barbarians. I love that series. Are you paying attention? August. Use your brain. <gasps> take the bet. Come on, take the bet. Oh, come on. I suppose. That's all you looked at? You guys didn't even look in the like, little room with the washing machine or anything.
August didn't even comment on how it was weird that there was a bunch of books about vampires there. <gasps> Merca. What the hell? Ooh, a gunshot? Guns aren't my forte. I prefer strangling. I mean, um, I I would if I were the heartbreaker, but I'm totally not. Oh god, you're back! Did you hear that sound? It didn't come from the woods. And I don't think there's much game to hunt anyway. Oh, right. The train was supposed to come in today. Oh, shit. Are people fighting with over you. stuff on the train? I'm coming, too. And August, tuck in your shirt! Oh, that was a fast load. Good job, game. Is this the shoebox that that Order of the Line hit on there to get messages to the outside world and stuff? Hey! Hands up! Oh shit! Oh my god. That's better. Maddie, what the fuck? <laughs> I've got your back, boss. Oh. What? I I don't want to hate on the art cuz like it's not it's not bad per se it's just kind of like awkward looking. I think it's the lighting cuz the line art isn't terrible and then the eyes look kind of weird in the in the still illustrations, but whatever. Yeah, I'll say thanks. That was pretty badass. Maddie, like that. Sure wasn't. Is there a way to like date everybody at the same time? Like we'll all just be a big like polyamorous town. matter what but something it's a miracle the box returned to us with something inside of it I still don't get why they can get food from out of town but they can't get letters from out of town. That doesn't really make sense to me. Oh shit. Who got shot? Oh, just some rando.
What if the wind just like blew the piece of paper out past the crosses so they couldn't get it? Like just immediately it flies up over one of the spires. Who got it? Oh jeez. Oh no. Settle down, folks. No need to worry. I've secured the letter. Nice hat. If you keep fighting over this, you'll rip it to shreds. Then everyone loses. Oh, is that you, Sheriff? What a convenient time for you to arrive. Maybe if you had arrived a little sooner, a man wouldn't be bleeding out on the ground right now. Uh, well, she's kind of got you there. Punishment. That guard maintained order. If not for that gunshot, I wouldn't be holding this letter right now. Settle down, settle down. The way I see it, this letter belongs to all the people of Batail. Which is why I'll read it aloud for everyone to hear. Oh god. Don't do it. What if it's some, like, erotic fanfiction? A prank? I don't see how that's possible. It was on the train when it returned from beyond the perimeter, Sharon. These good townsfolk saw it unloaded with their very own eyes. I mean, the train does. No one knows the difference between possible and impossible, Sheriff. Not anymore. It is with great honor and humility that I write to you now from the world beyond the towers. I, Jessica Murdoch, have escaped the tale with my beloved partner, Gary Reed. Bullshit. I have sworn an oath not to explain how I achieved liberation, nor what I know of the world outside Batail. But I can tell you this, it is all thanks to the Batail Repatriation Society. I, I received this great blessing by following their instructions. Perhaps if you are deemed worthy, you can receive the same blessing. If so, I look forward to seeing you in the world beyond. And that's all she wrote. How wonderful. Let's celebrate the tale. Jessica and Gary have repatriated. Bull shit. So it's true, it, it is possible to escape the towers. That that was clearly bullshit, Stacy. Come on. Repatriate! Repatriate! Oh Jesus. I mean, oh Lucius. I mean, if they all want to try and boot it out of here, I guess you can't stop them. 
More empty houses for you. To receive medical care, of course. I'm totes not gonna drink the rest of his blood that's left. I would never do that. Because I'm not a vampire. There's always something off about Julian. You want to put him in her joke of a hospital? That building still reeks of the animals it sheltered before she took ownership. No. We'll take him to the mansion and call for Nurse Kathleen from there. Oh, you want to take him to your mansion? So you totally won't eat him there? Really? I beg to differ. I think the easiest thing for you to do right now would be to drop this whole issue and return to the police station. Motherfucker, I don't work for you. It's okay, you have Maddie, and she's a brown belt. She'll protect you. Oh my god, yeah, see? Julian, this is the sheriff you're talking to. Oh, but I thought that Maddie... I'm well aware of that, Madeline. Yeah, it works for the I'm details, also aware though. that the title of sheriff only contains so much power as the people deign to give it. I strongly advise you not put that power to the test. I've got the power! Erica, I know you only want to help, and I appreciate that, I do. But this is not the time. Your posturing will only cause more chaos. I like chaos. Let's keep going. Well, you can believe that I'm not stupid. If I did something to him now, then you'd surely find out. How's that for my assurance? The longer we stand here arguing, the more that man bleeds out. It's quite a waste. Oh, rat boy face is back. As you should. Oh my god. So fucking weird. The train people. So weird. I know this didn't go how you wanted, Erica, but it's good news, right? Jessica and Gary escaped after all. But, but it came straight from the train. Yeah, they could have fucking put it on there. You, you don't have any proof, like, who wrote it or who put it on the train. Yeah, seriously. What? Why would they do something like that? They're fucking vampires, and they probably killed those kids. Oh yeah, where did he go? I don't know. I think he split off as soon as he went into the crowd. That slippery, sexy bastard. Speak of the devil. What the? Oh my god, is that Liam? Look, look at his sweatshirt. He looks like one of those fucking, um, like, Dixie cups. Like, like, the plastic cups that you drink out of. It's like the same spray paint pattern it has on them. was just telling Liam what a strong, hard-working sheriff you are. And I'm inclined to agree, but, um, Erica. <laughs> is this man really your partner? Life partner! 
he's my boyfriend. We're absolutely partners. Oh my god. You don't like Maddie, but you're happy to work with the Heartbreaker? Hey, hey now. He's not the Heartbreaker. He's the Heartbreaker! I'm not the Heartbreaker. There is no Heartbreaker. That nickname is absurd. <laughs> August is like, I tried to get them to call me a more sophisticated, cool name. I mean, I, I would have if if I was a killer, which I'm not. I heard Charlotte giving a speech. Was it important? A little bit, yeah. A rock. Oh, are you serious? <laughs> that's that's amazing. But why do you say claimed? Did you see it? That's great news. Maybe I can help. I can talk to Charlotte about the letter for you. Maybe retrieve it. Well, for security reasons, that's impossible. Why? Will you do you blow up if you get on the magic yes, train? Yes, but there are rules. Julian well Uh Buddy? You doing alright? Hmm? Oh, I I'm fine. I am. Um, I'll talk to Charlotte myself. Goodbye. What the hell? Why is he called a heartbreaker anyway? I know, right? They should call him the smooth criminal. Yeesh. Well, they're alive? Well, I mean, they're not after he takes their hearts out. Oh, interesting. I mean, I have no idea how serial killers think, but I would assume they kill for the thrill of it or something like that. It's okay. I was curious. Because if that man really is the heartbreaker, I'd like to know who I'm dealing with. How can you possibly work with someone like that anyway? Well, we have limited options in this town. Nobody can exactly answer our Craigslist ad for uh, new cops. And you believe him? Um... Oh, damn. I don't know. Do I believe August is innocent? Well, since we're trying to do the romance with August, I guess I'll say yeah for now, just to back up August. Oh, Liam didn't like that. Sorry, Liam. Oh. I hope you're right, but I just don't know. That man gives me the willies. Liam, you're a vampire. You're a vampire Besides, and he freaks you out? I think only a serial killer would act so casually about chasing my sister. Oh my god. <laughs> so, uh, what's next for you? I told you I'd ask Charlotte about that. 
Yeah, but she's your sister, so you might be working with her. Come on, you should be celebrating. In their vampire schemes. Oh my god. No buts. You're going to do something fun tonight. Something to relax and forget about work. Tell me something. Do you ever take off that sheriff badge? Other than when you put your PJs on. Like, ever? That's what I thought. Damn, she even wears it in the shower? First of all, ouch. I have to admit, I share the town's name, so I can't help but take that a little personally. Secondly, I have an idea of something fun we could do. No, no. This is better off as a surprise. What is it? Is it cow tipping? You also seem to hate fun. Maybe it's time for a change? I want you to meet me somewhere. What? Are we gonna get murdered by Liam? I guess you'll just have to come find out. I guess we'll just have to go find out if Liam's gonna fucking murder us. Sarcasm. Nice. I'm going to take that as a good sign. So should I. But then we're both going to relax. Liam, what do you even do for work? See you there at 8 o'clock. Do you sit around and be rich like Julian and Charlotte? Okay, bye. Erica! There you are! Is something wrong? Is hope such a bad thing? I mean, it might be if it gets people to do stupid stuff that gets them killed. This means you're not ready to close the case. Obviously not. Oh, good. Ugh. Maddie, do you smell bullshit too? Well, I do think it'd be nice to celebrate a little. I want to believe that Jessica and Gary really are safe somewhere out there. But I also want to keep working the case with you. I'm afraid you'll fire me once it's over. gonna give her the benefit of the doubt. Just try not to get possessed by your vampire. I really don't know what came over me that day. Anymore. I'll keep doing better. I swear. No shit. Your partner is an accused murderer. If I can't rise above that bar then we are all in trouble. Hey now, anybody could be accused of murder. No. Yes. I... I want to talk to you about something. Something I I've been thinking. No. I guess it's more about me but it might be important maybe unless i'm just imagining things i know i'm sorry i don't want to waste your time
you're m meeting Liam? I thought you were dating Julian. We went to the diner one time. Oh, good. Then I can wait until you get back from your meeting. Sounds good. On a date, we're probably gonna get murdered in an abandoned warehouse or something. But best case scenario, we might go cow tipping. Uh, more of these weird secret societies. HGTV? Yes, and her boyfriend. What does that have to do with me? Still don't see why you're at my doorstep. So, oh, you're finally coming for me and my brothers. Sarah should keep her mouth shut. What the hell, dude? I thought those kids got out of a tail anyway. I don't know what I believe anymore. What I can tell you is that I had nothing to do with whatever happened to them. So if you're trying to wrap this around as a reason to cause trouble, for me and my brothers. Is that all the the freedom folks are? Is it's just like it'd be amazing if it was a secret society, but it was just him and like his two brothers, and they're just three hillbillies that live in this house together, and they're just kind of weird survivalists. Please come and tip. More evidence that he is Chip Gaines from HGTV. I can't remember what show. What's, what's the name of Chip and Joanna Gaines' show? I like never watch it. Is it ex no? no? I'm thinking of Extreme Ho Makeover Home Edition, but that's a totally different thing. Huh? Yeah. Yeah, Chip Gaines. How do you survive the end of the world, huh? We are not survivors, Agent Wright. We are a local group that protects the interests of our community. What does that even mean? Oh, so they're like... Weird right-wing hardcore folks is that their thing the chemtrails he's like no we're worried about the vaccine bill gates is injecting microchips we're worried into about us. you agent right your illegal and unprecedented takeover of local law enforcement dude all the other cops died and she was the only one left in town Yes, <laughs> seriously. Yeah, dude, 
Nobody wants to be in Mateo. We're not scared of you, Agent Wright. We know what we can do about you if we have to. Is that a fucking threat, Chip Gaines? <laughs> and you wanted to know what we still do? Do you sit around and make pipe bombs and complain about feminism? For what's next? You think those towers are gonna protect us forever? You think they're protecting you? It seems more One like they're day, keeping you in. They'll go dark. Or they'll go down. And we'll have to be ready for what's on the other side. The feds, your people. What else would require this level of protection? What? You think there's magical towers protecting your town from the government? idea what you're talking about yeah because you seem like you know what you're talking about Chip. the last 20 years you monsters have been waging a war against Patel and all sorts of towns like it okay now your people can't touch us can't turn us into whatever it is you think we're supposed to be and I bet they're furious Y'all are trying to come in here and set up your boba shops and bring in the minorities and the gays into our good Christian town? Yeah, seriously, I don't think they give a shit, Chip Gaines. I know Gaines. our government better than you do. Not surprising. Bitch, she's a federal agent. Like... I'm not trying to defend the FBI, but I feel like she would fucking know more about, like, the government than you. No! Now will you leave me alone? Yeah, bye, bitch. What a dick. Oh god, it's a, it's a movie projector, is that it? Okay. It looks like a dump. Yeah. Liam, I like your hair, but your outfit, like why? Your whole family just dresses, <laughs> just, weird. Okay. I guess it's better than his brother and sister's crazy shoulder pad suits. What are we gonna watch? Lost Boys? Interview with a Vampire? Dracula? Think of it this way. Oh my god, Erica. We'll have to pay in Funko Pops. <laughs> well... Who's Gary Lewis? Oh! Mm, not so sure. No, because he's a vampire. Good to go. 
will we bang Liam in the back of a truck during a drive-in movie? Find out next time on Crimson Spares.